Hey guys, we all know them and we all love them, the options items. The Fiend Folio mod recently added one more to those existing three, which is called too many options. However, this one is quite special compared to the other three. Instead of giving you multiple choices for items, it actually provides multiple room choices. Each special room door in the game will cycle between three different types while you have the item. You can pick which one you want by entering it in the right moment. The three room types don't even have to contain the original type of the room. For example, in this case, the curse room turned into a choice between library, sacrifice room and shop. The door frame will remain that of the original room, which means you always have to pay that room's specific entry cost even if it ends up becoming another one. This can be both good and bad. For example, you could get a free shop or enter a curse room without taking damage, but you could also pay two keys for an otherwise free sacrifice room. But it is important to note that the frame of the door changes to the new type after you enter it. This is mainly important if you mess around with curse rooms. In this scenario, the curse room at the top turned into a treasure room, while the treasure room in the right turned into a curse room but both of them only damaged me once. The top one when I entered it and the right one when I left it. Too many options only affect special room doors. Boss rooms, challenge rooms and floor specific doors such as boss rush or the ascent door will all remain the same. Besides that, each special room can turn into literally any other type, even angel rooms or planetariums. However, all of them have different odds to appear for balance reasons. The shop, dice room and vault have a weight of 1, which means they are the most likely to be part of your 3 room choice. You can easily make use of your money that way. Only half as likely to appear are treasure rooms, curse rooms, sacrifice rooms and arcades. All of them have a weight of 0.5, so keep that in mind when you see them. After that comes a huge drop to even lower chances. The library and devil room both have a weight of 0.1 while the angel room and bedroom have a weight of just 0.07. The planetarium has the second lowest chance with a weight of just 0.05. However, keep in mind that you don't have to skip treasure rooms to find one with this item. But there's one more room. Yes, too many options also comes with a chance to add an I am error room to one of your door choices with the lowest weight of just 0.01. By the way, I actually made a video showcasing all the unique I am error rooms added in the Fiend for your mod a while ago. Stars. Check the link in the top right or video description if you want to see them. Secret rooms themselves are not affected by too many options, but you need to know that the item does affect the doors of adjacent rooms, even if you don't see them. Here you can see how I entered the shop through the secret room, but it turned into a treasure room instead without showing me the options. You basically roll the dice in this situation. If you have any form of teleport to specific locations, like for example a hermit card to the shop, it will still work as intended and port you to its target room type, if the current floor has one. The room in question will then permanently stay in its original form even if its options doorframe didn't even contain the original room type as one of the choices. But this obviously doesn't work if you already entered the room. As soon as you pick a door, the room type will change and permanently stay in its newly chosen form. For example, right here I turned the original treasure room into a new shop. This means that the floor doesn't have a treasure room anymore and my stars card fails. And last but not least, the Fiend Folio team also made sure that most items stack with themselves. In the case of too many options, each additional copy of the item will add one more choice to each cycle. However, this comes with a bit of a twist. It doesn't matter how many of them you have, the time of the entire cycle will always be the same, which makes it go faster. It is totally worth it to copy too many options with your Diplopia and such but you should probably not overdo it. Good luck picking the right door with 11 room types in the cycle. I hope you enjoyed my showcase of too many options. Do you like the item? Please let me know in the comments how you feel about it and I hope to see you again in my next Fiendfolio or Isaac showcase. Bye! He's the number one Isaac! God's favorite son 
flowing rose reach down from heaven.